You might be able to tell from my get up. I didn't plan to go to the football today. I didn't plan to do a video. I was just gonna head home and uh, enjoy the afternoon. But as uh, I'm sure all of you are, uh, have done, I, I popped up the uh, Footballogy app and uh, there was a game tonight at a stadium that I wanted to go to for a little while, more on that in a second, uh, playing a team in pre-season who I have a soft spot for and the weather is absolutely delightful. So I thought Friday night, why not head down to the new lodge in Billericay and see what it's all about. So join me on that journey and together we'll discover the beauty of the new lodge. Burger and chips for six pound. Can't complain too much. That's just a Mackey's these days, which is insane to say. Some people might be a bit puzzled as to why I wanted to come to the new lodge in Billericay so bad. And that's because whenever you go on the pitching in um, website where to check um, non-league results, uh, particularly in my area, it will post it on there. And uh, alongside that is the attendances. And despite being slap bang in the mid table and having a pretty mediocre season, Billericay Town still had up there upwards of a thousand at almost every home game uh, and I was speaking to the um, uh, one of the guys working the turnstiles and he said that they're predicting around about a thousand today they sold um, over 700 um, tickets before um, just online um, so expecting a couple, a couple of hundred more through the turnstile um, and that's um, due to a number of things apparently the success of West Ham has meant that less people are coming from Essex to watch um, them, um, as well as the decline of Essex football in general, with uh, South End having their financial troubles and um, Colchester United just being not very good. So, for them, Villa Ricky, um, I guess it's a lot cheaper and also, um, you know, good club, as you probably saw from my pan, a really good stadium as well. The lovely mural, which I absolutely adore, that I um, stood behind at the moment, mainly because it's. Cute. Can't hear the music here. And uh, today they take on League Two champions Leighton Orient. Uh, I believe uh, coaches are friends, so that's the reason that they are here. But um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I um, they've, there's been a bit of turnover at the O's, and um, well, a couple of key players have gone. So we'll see what sort of team gets put out today, and also where. Billericay are at. Um, it's right at the start of pre-season. It's a lovely, this lovely July evening, so I intend to enjoy myself. But let's see how the game goes. Teams are out, and what a glorious evening! Good evening, welcome to New Lodge. Bit of a rarity in England, beer in the sea. So not going to turn up the opportunity. Not the best half, goalless at the break, and it looks like there are a lot of Orient subs ready to come on for the second half. We're back underway, just the 11 changes for Orient at half time. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
come to the Ricky again. Oh, what are they doing in the Patrick and the O's? left to go. Billy Ricky have held their own really well. Um, but it does feel like an Orient goal might be looming soon. They've just hit the post and another shot went wide not long before that. So it looks like it's going to go anywhere. It's going to go the way of Orient. But it's still nil nil. Jesus. Thinking it's never going to come for the O's. Is he gonna? Oh, 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 what could have been? Spread out the attendance tonight, over 1,600. Insane! We're friendly. I think the weather's massively helped that, but still, insane. And there it is, nil nil. Very first game of pre season vibes here. Uh, 